Today I'm going to be setting up Intergear solar gutter lights, the 450 lumens model. It's a 2600 amp hour battery. In an earlier video, I set up an Intergear 24 LED light. This one had a 0.8 watt solar panel and a 1200 amp hour uh, lithium ion battery. Both of them are 3.7 volts. This is 24 LEDs. These have worked rather, rather well. They're rather economical. Actually, the panels on these are two and a half watt versus 0.8, so it's three, a little over three times the size. It also has 36 lights instead of 24 LEDs. And the battery is 2600 versus 1200, both 3.7. Also the lumens, 150 and 450. So substantially bigger. They cost more. Two of these cost about when I purchased them, two of these were 33, 35 dollars, 35 I think. And it was 25 for four of these. Like I said, these are a little more expensive, but it's about three times the light. A little over twice the battery power. And it also has four modes for choosing where these don't, you don't have any mode to choose really. And here's a user manual. It says upgrade a version. Uh, I'm not sure what the older version even looked like. Another good thing about these lights is that it has poles here you put together and you can extend off of a wall. It'd be very helpful in getting the light out from under some shade next to a building or whatever you're mounting it to. Okay, specifications, two and a half watts on the solar panel. I went through these already, uh, 2600 amp hour battery. Um, the LEDs, two and a half watts of light, 450 lumens. There's four modes. And real quickly, uh, the first one is dim all night long from dusk to dawn. The second one is half power from dusk to dawn. The third one, is dim until motion is detected, then it goes full brightness. And the last one was full brightness when motion is detected and it's off um, when nothing's seen. So real quickly, we're gonna go through the, uh, the modes here. I'm gonna hit the button once, get one, fla one flash, two flash, it's a little brighter, three flash, full brightness so that's pretty bright right now and the last one it's full brightness when it detects motion obviously it's detecting me so one more time I'll turn it off okay what I'm gonna do is just put it up outside to play with for now I'm not exactly sure where these are going to go um, they may go at my house they might go to an office building that needs some more lighting what I'm going to try to do is, just for grins, I'm going to stick it right here at the end of this pole. And it's about five and a half feet tall, about right here. Have it out here so I can play with it tonight. Ditch the washer. It's a lock washer. And it just, it just set it off crooked. So I decided to mount both of them and run one at quarter and one at half. See what it looks like tonight. I also want to mention that if you don't want to use the pole, you don't have to. You got the two slots for screws like the other uh, light had for mounting. Well, here they are. The one on the left is at low and the one on the right is at half power. And you can see a difference. The, uh, the one on the right is definitely brighter. I'm gonna change the one on the left and see what the difference is when we go to different power levels. So, walk up here. 
and let's punch the button go two and that is half and it's lighting the ground really nice this is a camcorder that has poor low light characteristics it does not do good in low light matter of fact there's the the other lights in dim mode way up high a dog just ran underneath one and turned it on this is pretty bright now if i go up here and punch it again this should go full power and wow that is there's half and full that is that's nice i may keep these and put them on the edge of the house for the evening grilling it went back to dim mode this is on motion sensor oh i just wiggled and it came back on full power that's bright that is bright wow good stuff wow, i like it we're going to do motion sensor see how long it takes for the lights to uh before it goes dim again so if i move And we'll see how long it takes before it decides to turn off. Like about 10 seconds before it, that that's that's the same as the other lights. They, they go on for about 10 seconds, nice and bright, and they go dim. I actually like that mode. I think I'm gonna turn both of these on. That let's see. Boom, nice and bright. Wow, that's bright. I mean that is like like I can do stuff out here bright you know what I think I will I'm gonna keep these to put right up there on the eve of the house just for grins I'll walk over here and turn this one on this is 150 when it's full full brightness and that's good just to see where you're going but that is like if you want to do some detail work that's nice Okay, so I mount them higher, about 10 feet up in the air. I spread them out about 18 feet apart. What I decided to do is put one on a pole, one on a house, and run it at the half power mode. Uh, I would like a little light out here to be able to do stuff. And this gives me enough light to be able to see what I'm doing down around here. Although this camera doesn't show it very well. But it gives me enough light to see what I'm doing if I'm working out here. And the beauty of these is if I decide to change the function of them, I can press a button and change it to a motion sensor or dim, whatever I want to do. And I can relocate them. I mean, it's a couple of screws. I can take it down and move it somewhere else. If, say, in the summertime, I want to have a light somewhere else. The prices on these do vary. I've noticed that this is an item that Amazon um, changes the prices on a lot uh, sometimes it looks like maybe Monday and Tuesday are cheaper than the weekend so thanks for watching if you made it this far appreciate it